Hey friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Maria starring Angelina Jolie. Okay. I have no clue what this is about. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a real person. Um, I might do some research afterwards. I don't know. Uh, most likely I'll probably just go ahead to the comment section. Maybe they'll give me a little insight of who this person is. I'm hoping that this trailer is going to tell me what this movie not only what this movie is about but also who is this person maria is okay i, I love trailers when they give you an idea especially when you don't know because i have no clue it's maria i mean it's just a name it doesn't you know it's not like a real title type that uh, that that describes the movie or the show or whatever you know what i'm saying it just doesn't so i have no clue what it is but angelina jolie is a great actress and she tend to like to do like stuff from history. I mean, she'll dabble into action movies and, and crazy dramas or whatever the situation is. But I think she loved to do women in the past. People that they admire, okay? You know, usually liberal. I'm assuming that whoever this person Maria is, I'm assuming this person gonna be liberal because Angelina Jolie is very liberal, okay? So she, I, I doubt if she will play like a conservative woman from history. And if she did, it'll be more in the negative sense, okay? So, I mean, it is what it is, man. But I can separate, though. I know she's straight up liberal, but I still respect her as an actress. I still like her as an actress and that's where it goes but like i said i don't know what this is going to be about i did a reaction for like a little teaser or something but it really it really didn't say anything it really didn't but it did look pretty interesting so that's the reason why i want to do a reaction to this trailer so let's go ahead and get into this but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos okay all right let's get with it Maria, what do you want to sing? Now, I can appreciate this just from the way it looks. I'm assuming this is going to be a real person because this looks like one of those type movies like Merlin Monroe or something like that. So most likely this is a real person. And I'm assuming either they like an opera singer or something like that. Though, right? This is going to be pretty interesting. I'm gonna, probably at the end of the video, I'm going to probably have to see what this is going to be about. Beautiful. Oh. <clears throat> Not today. Mm. All right, we just reacted to Maria starring Angelina Jolie. Now, normally I would go to the comment section, but I doubt if there's going to be too many comments in there right now. I'm sure most people don't know uh, what this movie is about or who is who is about. Uh, I love movies and I love um, history, but, you know, there's a lot of people. I just don't know who this person is. But from from what I gathered from the trailer, this person is a uh, professional singer, very popular. And it looks like she was, she was having issues with her throat. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering if that has something to do with something. So like I say, most likely this is a person in history. So let's go ahead and go over it. Uh, we're going to go with the Irish star. Never did uh, anything with the Irish star before. This is my first time. Hopefully it'll be good. Netflix refuses to show best part of Angelina Jolie's film Maria in thrilling drill in thrilling trailer. Okay. Fans were desperate to see Tomb Raider star Angelina Jolie opera for the first time on screen. Okay, I was right. It was an op it was an opera singer. The Oscar winner um, Angelina plays opera legend Maria Callas in the new, uh, in the new Netflix uh, flick. Who's this person? 
Who's Maria Callas? Let's find out who that person is. Because I have no clue. Callas. Alright, it's her right there. It's a picture of her right now. Alright, uh, this seemed like a. Okay, she. Okay, I think she might be Greek or something like that. That's like a Greek name or something, right? I can't say it, but uh, Maria Callas. And that's not her, her official name. I guess she changed her name. I mean, many people in, in the entertainment business change their name, whatever, to fit, whatever. Uh, December, uh, she was, I guess, born in uh, December 2, 1923. Was an American born Greek. Yes, I was right. Sopranos. Okay. Who was one of the most renowned and influential opera singers of the 20th century. Many critics praised there as bel canto technique wide wide ranging voice and dramatic interpretations her um uh, repertoire um, ranged from classical opera syria to the bel canto opera of denizati bellini bellini and rosini and further to the works of verdi and Persini, you know, I don't know none of this stuff. It's, the name sounds familiar, but I have no clue what this stuff is. Man. I'm, I'm not an opera goer, okay? I would like to actually go one day. Um, I did go to Italy before, but you know, I, I just went there for vacation. I ain't go there to see no opera. And her early career to the music dramas of Wagner, her musical and dr uh, dramatic talents led to her being held as La, Divi La Divini, the Divine One. Mm, okay, all right. Okay, I knew it was somebody in history or something like that, right? But I wonder what they're talking about. What they didn't show her singing chaps or something. Back in the day, like if you watch a movie like My Fair Lady or whatever, right? They will have somebody else singing instead of the star. And, you know, even though it's a few times the stars actually can sing. If you remember Nilly Vanilli, they could sing. But for some reason, these companies don't want their the people that they pick to sing. They like the way these people look and act or whatever. But for some reason, they won't allow them to sing themselves. And, you know, maybe they thought, you know, maybe she couldn't. I don't know. Uh, we're going to find out what's the situation with this situation. Okay. Uh, fans of Angel Angelina Jolie have been kept gushing as to what her real singer voice is like after Netflix refused to reveal the best part of the new film. Okay. I mean, can she even sing? I mean, if this woman's supposed to be the best back in the day, right? I don't care if Angelina Jolie can sing. I doubt if she can sing like that. Most likely, they can probably have to, you know, she won't have to, you know, dub over her voice or whatever. You know what I mean? I just can't imagine. Not unless it's something in her history I just don't know about. You know what I mean? But I don't think she's able to, you know, sing like a, a professional. Yeah, she will probably get the acting down right, the look. And, you know, and all that. But I don't know about the singing, though, man. Because that's not a hard uh, job. You know, it's not like regular pop music or something like that. When you can get average people singing songs. And they'll compensate with the way they look or the way they act or whatever like that. But this, the, the, sing this kind of stuff, you have to be a professional. And this person is, like, one of the best from what we, what we just read, okay? So, who knows, right? The, stream, the streaming giant teases her highly anticipated new film with a goosebump trailer, but kept the best part for themselves. Friends were desperate to see Tomb Raider star Angelina sing opera for the first time on screen. Excuse me, I never, I never turned this thing off because I want to know what's going on around me. Okay. Alright. Uh, where am I at? But kept the best part for themselves. Fans were desperate to see the Tomb Raider star Angelina Jolie opera for the first time on screen. Oscar winner Angelina plays opera legend Maria Callas in the new Netflix, uh, new Netflix flick. Okay. Fans have been desperate to see Angelina belt out some hits, but they were left hanging as the trailer teased other moments in the movie, leaving out the most important part. It's a little wonder fans were desperate to see it. The film titled Maria, which premiered on the Venice Film Festival in August, the grand eight minute standing ovation and tears for Angelina is set to be released on Netflix in November. I'm telling you, man, these streaming servers are kicking butt, man. That's the future now. You know, people after a while ain't gonna be leaving their house anymore, man, because it's like they spend a whole lot of money on Netflix, boy. On other streaming services, too. 
and shit right there. It will be the UK theaters in January 10, 2025. Uh, the crowd went wild for Angelina uh, Jolie performance of opera singer Maria earlier this month. During his, de during his debut at the Venice Film Festival, she was accompanied by director Paolo Lorraine. After the screening, the audience would move to rise uh, from their seats and applaud the actress, crew, and cast of the movie. Uh, the reaction to the world premiere left Angelina emotional as the crowd stood to, the, to their feet. Now, I know that she's talented, okay? Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. At, at these places right now, sometimes they, they love to, you know, kiss each other's butt. <laughs> so to speak, right? It, you know, you can look at it and say, okay, it was all right. But they love to pat each other on the back, man. You know, so, you know, that doesn't really tell me anything. I'm, I'm sure she's going to give a great performance from what I can see on the um, on the trailer that she's going to do a great performance as far as the acting part. And the look is good, too, as well. But the singing, though, come on, man. Come on. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be that impressed. Angelina stunned at the premiere, wearing a gorgeous tan gown, the silk dress hung by an elegant fashion as she um, accessorized. Okay, blah, blah, blah. The star out there for more makeup. Okay, Angelina made a statement about the move. Here we go. Uh, touching on her months of preparation and the emotional healing that the role offered her. Close. Oh, battery low. I got to make this quick. According to the Hollywood Reporter, she said, I had no idea how much. I was holding in and not letting out. So the challenge wasn't uh, technical. It was the emotional experience to find my voice, to be in my body, to express, to have to give every single part to yourself. All right. Well, it it, it, it healed her, I guess. <laughs> it, it's, it's funny, man, how they like to, you know, give credit to these uh uh, acting the hills them and stuff like that certain roles and stuff like that I just saw a basketball player who's retiring talking about his first love was uh, basketball and how it got him through all the uh, you know the, the problems in his life and all that kind of stuff and I was thinking in my mind and he should be saying this about Jesus okay I don't know if the guy Christian or not man but he had God on the side of his neck <laughs> I don't know if he meant God uh, of the highest or if he meant he thought himself as a God. So who knows what these people, right? But they love to use their job as some kind of like, it's like it's everything to them, everything. And maybe it is, you know what I mean? And I, I just feel for them, man. I mean, I'm a Christian. I like, I like my work. I, I love my family, you know, I like doing things, you know, but nothing will ever compare to God. Nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a perfect person. I'm not even trying to sell that, okay? I'm just saying, everything I have, every blessing that I got, the fact that I even have any type of health or anything, man, I give credit to God. But, you know, these people so rely on this stuff, man. You know, and it's fleeting. It's always fleeting, you know? But they talk about these things, oh, you know, now I'm a new person because I play somebody else. <laughs> I just find it just cra crazy, man. I just do. You know, it is what it is. It was a good trailer. I'm not going to lie and say that it was not a good trailer because it was it was a good trailer it's beautiful as a as a photographer i appreciate it love the lighting uh i love the, it's like a filter on a lot of the stuff man I, I love the way they do it i would love to do this but it takes money it takes finding people with talent even willing to do things i mean it's very difficult even to find models just to do shoots man it's getting harder and harder these days right I'm hoping that that would subside, but it's not it's not easy. And it's, it's, it, I guess I can always appreciate seeing other people's work, if, even though I'll never be able to do anything at this scale. But, you know, I do appreciate it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a very beautiful, beautiful movie. OK, and I'm kind of curious about her singing, too, as well. So, I mean, whether I watch this movie or not, I'm not sure. Like I say, I like her acting and stuff like that, but I don't watch her in everything. I'm not a, like one of those big fans of Angel Angelina Jolie that I'm just, you know, waiting for her to come out with something or anything like that, right? But if she come out with something decent and, and good, I'll, I'll check it out. But, uh, well, I learned something today. I never heard of this person before, and I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about the, the person she's playing. Never heard of it? Nah, no. <laughs> okay. So what is your thoughts on this trailer? Do you think it was good? Are you looking forward to seeing Angelina Jolie sing? Okay, I'm curious. 
but uh i'm not saying that i'm just gonna wait around for it you know what i mean but most likely if i check it out most likely now i'll see it in the clip or something i don't know but either way it goes it looks like it might be interesting and if you're really really into history or whatever uh, or, or, or these type of movies i'm sure you will enjoy it all right i really appreciate all of you coming by thanks again this is t and peace Not today.